Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today I want to show you a very quick way of sharing files between your Mac, your Chrome OS or your Chromebook, your Android phone and your Windows PC. All right, let's get into it. So usually when you want to share files between your MacBook and Windows PC, you probably want to create a shared network folder and then connect the devices to the same Wi-Fi network and so forth. But this method can sometimes not work and it's kind of complicated. So a quick way to really share files between whatever device that you have is to use this tool that I just found out called Snapdrop. So Snapdrop works with any major browser and behind the scenes it uses a protocol, a standard called WebRTC, which is actually also used uh, for, you know, making web calls and video calls online and so forth, but it can also be used for peer-to-peer -peer file transfer. So WebRTC is supported across major web browsers and that is why this method can basically work across any device that you have. So all you have to do is to open snapdrop.net across any device that you want to share files between. So I'm just going to do that across my Mac, uh, my Chromebook, and then my Android phone. I don't have a Windows machine here, but if I did, you basically do exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to share a file. So to share files between my Mac and Chromebook, just tap on the Chromebook here from my Mac, okay, and I'm just going to share this little uh, file here. So whatever file that you really want to share. So on my Chromebook here, I just have to hit save and the file is saved. And to share files between my Chromebook and the Mac, I'm going to tap on the Mac here where it says Mac Chrome. And I'm just going to select any of the files here that I, I have. Uh, right and on the macbook i'm just going to hit save and right there it is saved so all you have to do is to make sure that these devices are connected to the same wi-fi network so let me just confirm that because my android phone is not showing up so let me just see oh yeah it's connected to a different wi-fi network so i'm just going to change it to this network here mtn fiber and I'm just going to go back here and refresh. So let's just refresh my Android phone. Oh yeah, and now you can see all the devices are appearing. So for example, on my Android phone, I can see my MacBook and Chromebook. And then on the Chromebook, I can see my Mac and Android phone. And then on the Mac, I can see the Chromebook and the Android phone. So really whatever you want to share, whichever devices you want to bounce files between, you're free to basically just tap on that device and then send files. So let me uh, send files from my Android phone to my Chromebook just to show you how seamless this process is. So from my Android phone, I'm going to tap on my Chromebook here. You can see it's Chromium OS, okay. So I'm just going to come here and tap on any file, whatever file pops up, I'm just going to tap on it. And you can see some recorded file here has popped up. I'm just going to click on save and it's right here. So just like that, as you can see, I can seamlessly just share files between all these devices and they are totally different operating systems in a snapshot. And this is really wild. It's the easiest way that I've seen of sharing files between different devices so if i had a windows machine i do but i don't want to boot it up i would basically just fire up firefox or chrome and exactly do the same all you have to do is number one make sure that you're using the latest browser i recommend chrome and then make sure that your devices are connected to the same wi-fi network now you can identify your devices by uh, simply looking at the operating system or device name that the software has generated for you. This thing doesn't require internet, it's peer-to-peer, -peer, so files are bounced across the local Wi-Fi network. So it's really, really fast. It's way better than using cloud storage or using a network file folder or Bluetooth or any other uh, methods that you've used before. All right, so if you found this uh, tutorial helpful, this tip helpful, uh, let me know in the comments if you've tried it. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.